Okay, as I said before, this really isn't working with logs like real life. This is just getting used to logs. So uh, what we're going to do, if we spend a lot of time on this, you could do all these in your head. But like I said, we're only going to spend about three weeks. So what the recommendation is, change it back to an exponential and then solve it. So, uh, this, base power equals, so it'd be x squared equals 9, square root both sides. Now, normally you'd say plus or minus 3, but the base can't be negative, so the answer is just 3. So, this one, you go 4 to the x equals 2, and we worked with exponentials to get the same base, 2 to the 2x equals 2 to the 1, so 2x equals 1, so x equals a half, so the square root of 4 is 2, so 9 squared equals x, so x is 81, so uh, this one, 81 to the 3 fourths equals x. If you remember, the bottom number is the radical, so it'd be fourth root. The top numbers are normal powers, cube. So the fourth root of 81 is 3. 3 cubed is 27. Okay, this one, 27 to the x equals 81. So it'd be 3 to the 3x equals 3 to the 4th. So 3x equals 4, so x equals 4 thirds. So this one, 1 ninth to the x equals 27. So it'd be 3 to the negative 2x equals 3 cubed. So negative 2x equals 3, so x equals a negative 3 halves. Okay, I have seven more problems for you to do. Freeze the video and do them, please. Okay, well, I hope you turned it back on. So this, 9 to the x equals square root of 3. So this would be 3 to the 2x. Now remember, a radical goes in the bottom, so it would be 3 to the half. So 2x equals 1 half, so x equals 1 fourth. So 8 to the x equals 32. So 2 to the 3x equals 2 to the 5. So 3x equals 5, so x equals 5 thirds. So this would go there. Okay, 25. <laughs> My stomach's growling, mercy. So 25 to the x equals 125. Base power, what it equals. So you'd have 5 to the 2x equals 5 cubed. So 2x equals 3. So x equals 3 halves. So notice how much smaller the power is from what it normally was. So if you're working with outer space or if you're working with uh, the government, it'd be big numbers. Now, of course, we got calculators now that do all this. But there are some formulas you need logs for, and I'm going to show you a couple, maybe before Easter. We'll have to see how it goes, if not right after. So again, this would be 2 to the 4x equals 2 squared. 4x equals 2. So x equals a half, or a square root. Square root of 16 is 4. Yes. Now this one. Whenever the base is the same as the answer, what it equals, something interesting happens. So x equals 1. Base is the same as this is 1. 6 to what power is 6? 
one. So, <clears throat> this is used, let's think of it this way, log base 10 of 10 to the 7. So, we're talking scientific notation. The second half of the number is easy to find. You're just talking about the power on the 7. So that's one powerful reason why to use this. In scientific notation, 10 to the power, the second part of the number is easy to work with. It's just the power if you're doing log base 10. And we normally use log base 10 because our number system is based on 10. Anyways, 4 to the x equals 32. So 2 to the 2x equals 2 to the 5th. So x equals 5 over 2. Now, the tricky one. Most people get this wrong no matter how many times I show you how to do it. So it would be 27 to the x equals 9 square root of 3. So 27 is 3 to the 3x. 9 is 3 squared, and square root of 3 is 3 to the half. When you multiply two things same base, you add the powers. So it'd be 2 is 4 over 2, so it'd be 3x equals 5 halves. Because this would end up being 3 to the 5 halves. Because 4 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 5 over 2. So this would be x equals 5, 6. So we'll do more of that as we go along. People, for some reason, really have trouble with that. But, um, yeah, good. I hope you're starting to get used to it a little bit. And that's enough for today.